Hi, in this video, we'll talk about the arithmetic logic unit. A computer system has three major components. The main memory, the CPU or central processing unit, and the input and output system. Inside the CPU are three major devices, the registers, the control unit, and the ALU or the ALU. The arithmetic logic unit performs all arithmetic operations. The ALU of modern computers are overly complicated to fit in one lecture. The ALU that will be discussed in this lesson will be for an 8-bit computer as described in J. Clark Scott's book, But How Do It Know? There are seven devices that make up the ALU. The adder, the right shifter, the left shifter, the natter, the ender, the orer, the xorer, and the comparator. The comparator is built in with the XOR. Here is the diagram for the ALU. Inside are the devices I mentioned before. The operation to be performed depends on what device is enabled. A device is enabled by the OP control bit. The bytes A and B and the carry in bit will be the inputs. The devices inside the ALU will perform their respective operations and the result will be pushed out to the output byte C and the carry out bit. Bits A larger, equal, and zero does not depend on the OP to get outputs. A larger will be on if input byte A is larger than input byte B. It will be off if input B is larger or has the same value. Equal bit will only be on if input A and B has the same value. If both A larger and equal bits are off, that means input B is larger than input A. Bit 0 will only be on if output byte C has all zeros. Otherwise, bit 0 will be off. Let's take a look at our 3-bit OP code. 000 will enable the adder. 001 will enable the right shifter. 010 will enable the left shifter. 011 will enable the natter. 100 will enable the ender. 101 will enable the orer. 110 will enable the XOR, or the exclusive OR. 111 will not select any device. The comparator and the zero devices are always enabled. This means they always have outputs regardless of the OP code. Now let's see how the ALU works with different inputs. 